हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एजेर डेटा फैक्ट्री इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर वीडियो सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन कॉपी द डेटा फ्रॉम द मल्टीपल एक्सल सीट्स टू द सिक्वल टेबल सो वॉट डज इट मीन लेट मी क्विकली गो एंड सो यू दिनारियो फर्स्ट सो वी आर हैविंग ए एक्सेल फाइल एंड अंडर दैट एक्सेल फाइल वी आर हैविंग मल्टीपल एक्सेल सीट्स सो दैट वी कैन सी इंडिया then us then uk so all these are having similar kind of data but those are for that particular country so as per the uk we can see the uk employee similarly we can see the us employee and then we can see the india employee i am keeping all the data same except the country name so we need to load this data inside the sql server tables so as we can see it is having multiple seats so all the data from all those seats should be copied inside the sql server table so how we can do that so this was asked in one of the interview that was attended by one of my subscriber so let me quickly go inside the azure data factory and we'll try to see so here inside the blob storage i have already uploaded this excel file that we can see employee.xlsx file and if you can go here so we don't have any direct option by which we can loop through the excel file sheets so we cannot directly do that so the alternate way we have to follow for solving this problem i have created this config file so inside this config file i am having all those excel sheets so if by next time we have received the file and those file is having four excel sheets then we can simply go and add one more sheet name here and it will be working for that particular sheet as well so either you can add inside the csv file or you can add inside the sql server table as an config table so here i am keeping this inside this particular csv file so now let me quickly go inside the data factory and try to add a new pipeline and we'll try to solve this problem so first what we have to do we have to use the lookup activity and on that particular lookup activity we will be reading all these data so as we can see it is having india us and uk so all these three data should be returning by that lookup activity so let me quickly go and search for the lookup activity here and then we can go inside the settings and we can add a new data set here so this should be pointing to the blob stories so we can select the azure blob stories then we can see the delimited text because that is the csv file of the config one so we can click on continue and here inside the link service we have already created this link service so i'm going to use the same then we can simply browse and we can go on that particular input location and after that we can simply select this config.csv file then we can click on okay first row as header we have already seen like seat name is the first row so we can select this checkbox and after that click on okay so once we have created this let me try to debug it so this should be going to return three rows in the output so one for the india uk and us so if we can check the output of this here we can see the first row so why it's returning first row let me cancel this and let me go inside the lookup activity here if you can see we have selected this checkbox for the first row so that's why it is only returning india but we are required to see all the data set so we have to unselect this checkbox and let me try to debug it so this time it should be going to return all those three rows so we can wait until this will not be executed so let me check the output of this so as per the count we can see three but the seat name so seat name property we can see india us and we can see the uk so what next we need to do we need to use the for each activity and that for each activity will be executing on the seat name property of the lookup activity so that will be executed three times one for india us and uk so similarly here we can use the for each activity so let me try to drag and drop the for each activity and let me connect with the lookup activity so here what is the items by which we need to loop so we need to loop through with the value array so whatever the value array is available that 
should be going to executed on that level let me try to click on okay let me show you the value array one more time so if we can click on this output so here we can see this value so why it is array because we are having multiple values under that particular array so that's why it is asking whatever the value is available in the array so on those elements the loop will be executing now after doing this we can simply go in the for each activity and here we can simply use the copy data activity so the copy data activity we have to set the source and sync but the source should be dynamic because the seat names we are getting from the for each activity so let me try to go inside the source so let me try to add a new data set here and this is again available inside the blob storage so we can select it and after that our source file which is the actual file is the xlsx so our source is in excel file we can select click on continue and after that we can simply select this link service we can browse go to the input and we can select that particular employee file and after that click on ok so once we have done all these here i am going to use the worksheet mode as index and we are going to pick zero and first row as header so i'm going to make this but will be going to change so let me click on ok because we don't have any option by which we can make it as dynamic here so after creating it we can design this as a dynamic so as we can see it's created let me click on open and here if we can go and here we can see the seat index so either we can go with the seat index or the seat name so i'm going with the seat name because those seat names are coming from the for each activity here we can see either we can select any one of these but we want to make it as dynamic so we can click on this edit so here we can see the option for the add dynamic content but we have to create one of the parameter here and this parameter is the seat name and this parameter should be going to map with the add dynamic content and click on ok so once we make this change we can simply go inside the pipeline and now data set is asking this parameter value which is the seat name so again we can go in the add dynamic content here we can see the item property then we can see the seat name property so simply we can select the seat name and click on ok so what will be the seat names will be going to loop through with one by one inside the destination we want to dump the data inside the azure sql so we can simply go and select the azure sql database click on continue we have already created the link service so we can select that link service then we are required to select the table name here we don't have any table so let me use the none click on ok and here we are also going to click on this open and table we want to create the table with the name of employee tbl so by this name table will be created first then all the data should be loading in this table let me quickly go on in the pipeline level and table option we can select the auto create table so we have done let me try to debug and we'll see about the outputs of the activities so lookup activity got executed successfully and if we can see it is having count three seat name is the india us and uk if you can see in the downside now we can see the for each activity is start executing if you can see the output so item count is three it means the for each activity will be executing three times that's why we can see copy data one three times so if you can simply go inside the ssms and here let me try to execute this query so we should be seeing the table which got created right now which is the employee tbl so as we can see this table got created so let me quickly go and try to select the data from this table so as we can see it is having all the data for the india uk and us so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos See you in the next video.